In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress custom menu that you can add to your WordPress site and have appear on your theme if your theme has that functionality. Most themes do these days, but not all. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, but we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's build this custom menu. I'll see you in the tutorial. So before we get into the technical nitty gritty, let's just take a look at what kind of menus are available on your theme. Now most themes have a menu at the top, which is the main navigation menu. And I'm running the Divi theme here, as you can see, and we have the menu right here, which just consists of the home button and a little search icon. And a lot of themes have a menu at the bottom in the footer. And that's usually about it. Pretty much every theme has a header and footer theme. And then you can also have page specific themes. And it gets pretty complicated at that point. But to get your header and footer themes in order, here's what you do. You head to your WordPress dashboard, you go to the appearance menu, hover over that, and then click on menus. And then we have, we, we default to the menus that exist on the page or on the website, which currently is the main menu up here. If you click on manage locations, you will be able to see other menu locations. So we have the primary menu, a secondary menu, and a footer menu. So we have those three locations available. We're going to make a menu for each of them right now just to see how all of them work, for the Divi theme anyway. And you could also, when you're on the main menu here, you can check which the display location is if you want or not, it's up to you. That's two ways to set the location of the menu. But to add pages to a menu, all you do is on the left-hand side here, you've got a list of all the pages on the site. If there's pages you wanna add that you don't have in this list, you gotta make them first. So make the page, it'll appear here. If you have lots and lots of pages, you can use the search function to search for a page. You can use view all to see all of them, or most recent, which if you make a page right now, it'll appear in the most recent list. Let's go click on blog and activity and members and forums. Then we click on add to menu and it adds them all. I can drag and drop to reorder these. And I can also have sub menus. So I wanna have members and activity as a sub menu of the forums. So you just drag and drop them underneath the form. If you see that dashed box, if we drag it right to the very edge, we see that's right, it's lined up with the form itself. We drag it a little bit to the right and we see it goes as a sub of forums. Then you can have further subs. Activity could be a subgroup of, of uh, members. So you can have subs of subs, flyout menus, whatever you wanna call them, but you have sub menus. And that's how you make those. And in each one of these, you can click this little down arrow and set some settings. You can set the navigation label, which is the name of the menu. So if, if the page name is home, but you want this to say home page, you just type in the different name here. Or you can just have it say, click here. Whatever you want it to say, whatever that text is will be the text, but then the link itself would go to the home page. I'm just gonna leave this as home and sometimes they have other settings, depending on what plugins you have installed. Right now I've got nothing installed that would add functionality here, but you can often have other settings inside these down arrows. So make sure you click them and see if there's settings you wanna set. If not, they're fine the way they are, just by default. You also have the option to add posts, which is in this tab here. You can create custom links. Say you wanna link out to Facebook, just put in the URL there, put in the link text here, and then click on add to menu, and that will add it to the menu. Then you can again, drag and drop it, reorder it however you want it to be. Then you can choose categories as well, if you wanna have a category link. And what that does is if you have a bunch of posts in categories, you will then see a list of all the posts in that category if you use a category link. So it's kind of like having multiple blog links. The blog link itself will show all the posts in your blog, but let's say you have three different categories and you want them all linked to from the main menu. You can have three different category links that you put into the main menu, and then they will see a list of all the posts in those categories when they click on those category links. Very last thing is the auto add of pages option. If you have this checked, any new page you create will automatically be added to the menu. I've never seen a use case for that because 
I mean, your menu could grow out of control really quickly. So I would never personally have this checked, but if that is a check that you need, or you need that to happen for you, this is where you do it. If you click on Save Menu, then we're gonna go and refresh this page out here and see what this new menu looks like. So here's how our menu looks. It looks just like the content we had in the back end in the editor. And Forums has a flyout menu, just like we set up. And this is the Divi theme, so Divi has styles for this flyout menu. Hopefully your theme has styles for that as well. If we go back to our menus, let's make a new location. So let's click on Create New Menu. And I'm gonna call this Secondary Menu because it's gonna go in the secondary location. Then I'm just gonna add a bunch of pages, just random things, so I just wanna see where this menu ends up. Check those three, click on Add to Menu. Now they're added here. I'm gonna click on Secondary Menu in the Display Location. I click on Save Menu. I'm gonna quickly create a footer menu as well to see how that one works. Type in footer menu here, click on create menu. This name here is for you only, so nobody on the front end would see this, so you can name whatever you want. I like to keep it descriptive, so I know what it is before I even open it. And then I'm gonna check a bunch of pages, click on add to menu, check the footer menu location, click on save menu. I'm gonna head back out front, refresh this page and see where all these menus appear. So the secondary menu in the Divi theme, add this blue bar up here with the options up at the top, which is pretty neat. And the footer, of course, went into the footer. Now your theme might have different locations. It might have more locations than we have in the Divi. It might have less. But what I encourage you to do is just make menus, test the locations so you can see what they look like. And you could easily delete menus when you don't want them anymore. So you just go back to edit menus here and then you click on delete menu down here to delete the menu. So it's really easy to test and it's valuable for you to know where what menus go. And if you want to load a different menu here to edit it, you just click on this drop down, pick the menu that you want to load, click on select, and now you can make changes to this menu at any time you need to. That's how easy it is to create a custom menu and add it to your WordPress theme. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.